All right, this dragon's head. So I'm gonna start with the curve and it's more of a backwards C. What I'm trying to achieve is the negative space between the head and the neck and make sure that I get that proportionate. Then the width of the head, the back of the jaw to the tip of the nose, I wanna get that close. And then I take the bottom part of the, I'll say the mouth, and make sure that slight S curve is as close to the drawing, the original drawing is as, as I can get. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go through and get um, create these spikes and the horns, and then that top spike that almost looks like the ear that goes into that big spike. I'm not really sure the anatomy of the dragon, but that that swoops into that brow bone for the eye. And then the eye is just more like a reptilian or cat-like eye, so I started with the a circle and then I went in and drew the eyelid. Now the top half of the head meaning from the bridge of the nose to the bottom of the mouth is the top is I would say two-thirds the thickness of the head and then the bottom third um, is going to be below the mouth with those spikes and then I've got the tinier spikes I'm drawing now that are the bridge of the nose. Those don't have to be 100% accurate and match. You know it is a mythical creature so you can kind of guesstimate and add what you'd like there and be creative but you just want it to be believable and I want you to notice the two horns that re represent more of the ears. Um, we've got one in the front and then one that's to the left that goes behind the curve of the head. So that one is going to be distant. We want to create the illusion of depth. So that's going to be behind that bridge spike and drawn a little bit smaller. And now I'm doing the, the front of the neck. So I drew that front line and it's not quite in half, meaning I started at the top and I drew that down, not the middle of the neck, but the front half and then just created more spikes in detail. Now anytime that I'm drawing from something that an image that I found or somebody else's sketch, I'm going to do my own interpretation of this and so what I'm trying to achieve is something that looks similar but I'm not going to beat myself up if it's not exactly a replicate and accurate. Now I'm going in with two different tips of ink and if you only have one that's fine as well but I take my thicker one and I outline on my pencil um, marks that I just did to get proportions down and then I take my thinner one to add details of shading and when I'm doing shading with inking I usually do my lines in one direction and now I'm taking for the little scale um, details that I would envision this portion of the neck and the spikes looking like and I'm just doing a little scribble effect with tiny um, organic circles that aren't perfect and they're different shapes and sizes to give some value and adding just little details and exaggerating or accentuating the um, scales and the spikes so that they look a little bit more menacing and illustrated style.